you are trying to find the derivative of the function f of x equals x squared minus 1 over 2x minus 3. And in doing so, we want to use the definition of a derivative. And the definition of a derivative is f prime of x equals the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So that means we have to start by evaluating the function at x plus delta x. So f prime of x will equal the limit as delta x is approaching 0 of x plus delta x squared minus 1 over 2 times the quantity x plus delta x minus 3. And then we have to subtract, so we'll subtract the original function, which is x squared minus 1 over 2x minus 3 all over delta x. Now, before we could subtract those two fractions in the numerator, we would either need a common denominator or get rid of the denominator altogether. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by a big, giant form of 1. And that 1 is going to look like both denominators. So we're going to have 2 times the quantity x plus delta x minus 3. And we're going to have 2x minus 3. So when I share that whole thing to this first fraction, what will happen is this denominator will cancel with that part, and I will be left with x plus delta x quantity squared minus 1 multiplied by the 2x minus 3. And then when I share that whole thing to this second fraction, the denominator here will cancel with the 2x minus 3, and I'll be left with x squared minus 1 times 2 times x plus delta x minus 3. And in the denominator, I will have the delta x, which was down in the denominator to begin with, and both of those factors. Now don't forget, we do need that limit as delta x is approaching 0 in the front. That is very critical to be carried through step after step. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to square this binomial, and I'm going to distribute here, and I'm going to distribute here. So my next step, I'll have the limit as delta x is approaching 0, of x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 3 minus the binomial x squared minus 1 times 2x plus 2 delta x minus 3. And my denominator will have three factors delta x, 2x plus 2 delta x minus 3, and 2x minus 3. So now I've got to do some major distributing in order to clean this up. So I'm going to start by sharing the 2x to all the parts. So I'll get limit as delta x is approaching 0 of 2 x cubed plus 4x squared delta x plus 2x delta x squared minus 2x. Then I'll distribute the negative 3. 
So I'll have negative 3x squared minus 6x delta x minus 3 delta x squared plus 3. I'll then have a subtraction sign. And over here, I'm now going to distribute the x squared. So I'll have 2x cubed plus 2x squared delta x minus 3x squared. I'm also going to distribute the negative 1. So I'll have minus 2x minus 2 delta x plus 3. And it'll be all over those three factors. I want to do some combining like terms and cleaning things up a little bit here. So the first thing I'm going to do at this stage is I'm going to distribute this negative throughout the entire quantity. So we will have the limit as delta x is approaching zero of 2x cubed plus 4x squared delta x plus 2x delta x squared minus 2x minus 3x squared minus 6x delta x minus 3 delta x squared plus 3 minus 2x cubed minus 2x squared delta x plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2 delta x minus 3 all over delta x times 2x plus 2 delta x minus 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. In doing so, you're going to find a lot of like terms that are going to cancel each other out. So we'll have a negative 2x cubed will cancel with a positive 2x cubed. A negative 2x will cancel with a positive 2x. And a positive 3 will cancel with a negative 3. You'll also have some like terms, 4x squared delta x and negative 2x squared delta x can combine. So we will now have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x squared delta x plus 2x delta x squared. I just noticed another set. This negative 3x squared will cancel with this positive 3x squared. So we still have a negative 6x delta x and negative 3 delta x squared. And we have a positive 2 delta x remaining in the numerator. And in the denominator, we still have our three factors. Now in the numerator, if you closely look at that, you will see that there is a greatest common factor. So you can now factor out a delta x, leaving you with 2x squared plus 2x delta x minus 6x minus 3 delta x plus 2 over your three factors. And in turn, the delta x in the numerator will cancel with the delta x in the denominator. And at this point, you can now do direct substitution and substitute 0 in for all of the delta x's. So when you substitute your 0 in, we will end up with 2x squared plus 2x times 0 minus 6x minus 3 times 0 plus 2. 
and in the denominator you'll have 2x plus 2 times 0 minus 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. So these terms are now out of play, leaving you with 2x squared minus 6x plus 2 over the quantity of 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. And if you want to, you can factor out a greatest common factor in the numerator and be left with 2 times the quantity x squared minus 3x plus 1. And since both factors in the denominator are identical, we could display it as 2x minus 3, the quantity squared. So that is equivalent to our derivative.